Welcome to Digital Asset News, taking top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break it down to bite-sized pieces. Today, we've got a lot of stories about Bitcoin and FOMO going on. First up, MicroStrategy targets 400 million additional capital raise and tends to use proceeds to buy more Bitcoin. And this is a good story, but what's an even better story is the same CEO saying that anybody who bought Bitcoin before March of 2020 is a visionary. That means somebody just like you is really doing the right thing. Also, new data shows that Bitcoin is seeing massive inflows from institutions and gold is seeing mammoth outflows. And this is a good piece, but really it falls a little bit of flat when we take a look at the details. Also, this is a follow-up story from yesterday's video. Standard Chartered Bank to launch crypto trading for institutional investors. And this one goes pretty deep and it's going to lead us into what Brian Brooks said that in the next four weeks, we're going to see some really big and positive news related to cryptocurrency and banks. And lastly, just an important note for anybody who is participating in the XRP airdrop, just know that if you have your XRP at iTrust Capital, there's a couple of things we need to go over on top of some bummer news also put up by iTrust Capital about crypto staking taxes. Well, before we get into all that, let's take a look at what's going on in the market. So today it is December 8th, about 3.30 p.m. El Paso, Texas time. And uh, we got a little bit of a dip, a little bit of a pullback, and this is healthy. This is normal. This is exactly what I was waiting for. And I know there's some people out there like, dang it, I really wish it would just keep going up to the moon. And I remember when I was coming around in 2017, I just remember would hear the YouTubers. They always tell me like, ah, oh, this is great. It went down a little bit. I'm like, are we looking at the same thing? It kind of, it, it just kind of unnerved me. But now I get it because I've been in for four years now. I'm just dollar cost averaging over all this time, it doesn't really make a difference. I'm actually happy when it goes down happy when it goes up so bitcoin's down now uh, almost two percent for for the week uh ethereum is down four percent and that actually took a big tumble we were at 610 618 now we're at 566 so a little bit of a, of a drop so that's good for me i mean this is uh these are my days xrp down five percent watch out tethers tether nobody really cares well maybe one person cares so for you that you care that's great uh tethers at 19.7 billion almost at 20 billion love to see an audit on that litecoin down six let's see uh, let's just say it. Uh, everything's down. Top 20. Everything's down, down, down. Uh, yeah, pretty crappy day. What can you say? Now, let's take a look at the all-important Bitcoin factor. So if you would have invested in these alts, you would have been ahead of Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, <laughs> stable coins and nothing. So that's what's going on in the market. Let's jump into today's top story. So first up, I saw this story all over Twitter, and Twitter is really what I, where I get a lot of the information. Everything kind of goes, goes faster on Twitter. You can just send a tweet super quick. It's not like you have to do a video or, or write up an article like this. So when I see this, I'm like, I, you know, maybe everybody has, has seen this. But there's the next story we're going to talk about, I think, is the bigger story. But So this is what's going on with MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy is going to buy $400 million extra of Bitcoin. And I think they know something we don't. That's just my assumption. Not only that, but they have the inside track on a lot of things. If you don't know, Coinbase was the one that helped them really skewer the market and to uh, accumulate Bitcoin without raising the price. And again, I don't take anything away from that, but uh, I think Coinbase is uh, really focused on institutions and that's just how it is. So real quick, uh, the company revealed, MicroStrategy revealed on Monday that it's planning to sell 400 million in convertible senior notes, debt securities that can be converted into the issuing company's shares to qualified institutional buyers only in a private sale. MicroStrategy will then use the proceeds from this sale to purchase more Bitcoin. So like, hey, we want to get rid of this worthless stuff that we have, and we're going to take 400 million, you know, half a billion, uh, not too bad. And we're going to go, you know, buy Bitcoin because that's just what we do. This was the official announcement. Announcement. MicroStrategy intends to invest the net proceeds from the sale of the notes in Bitcoin in accordance with its Treasury Reserve policy pending the identification of working capital needs and other general corporate purposes, blah, blah, blah. Really what it means is this. Michael Saylor has convinced everybody from the top down that Bitcoin is the way to go and is the only way to go. He has been talking about he is not going to give it up. He is not going to sell. And when I see something like this, I'm like, this is, of course, bullish news, obviously. But the, the real question to me is, what does he know? What does he know that we don't know? Because I know there's a lot of things that are going on in the background that we will never get privy to. So we kind of have to look for clues and see what's going on. And this is a big clue. So this is a great article, but this one really touched home. And 
all this time that you have been ridiculed and you've been talking to your family and Thanksgiving just came about, Christmas is coming up, and you're going to be talking to them again. I guarantee you're going to be saying something about Bitcoin if they don't shut you down. And uh, this is the type of story that I like to see because it just gives us like another affirmation like, yes, I knew this is where it could go. I knew what could happen. I feel that this could actually be a very big thing. I believe this is going to be bigger than the internet in the uh, late 90s. So this was a, there was a fireside chat between uh, CZ Binance and Michael Saylor. And this is what he said. And I thought it was great. He said that he would have hardly entered Bitcoin so easily prior to March of 2020 and the Black Thursday that pushed Bitcoin down the charts 50%. He states, all the work was done before me. And he, when he gets into it, he really talks about how like he had to be convinced and convinced and convinced until people just beat it into his head that Bitcoin was the way to go. But then when he got it, it was like a light bulb just turned on and he's like, oh, I know exactly what it is. I know exactly where it's going. I know exactly what we need to do. And I think that's kind of like the thing that we need to talk about to our friends and family. And if you haven't clarified your thoughts on Bitcoin, go ahead and check out my video on the Bitcoin elevator pitch. You can find it at my 100% free website, danteachescrypto.com, and it gives you everything you need to know to pretty much clarify your thoughts so you can tell people and not fumble over your own words. Anyhow, Sailor states that he is standing on the shoulder of giants. He specified that all the work to convince him that Bitcoin is a suitable inflation hedge was done by the OGs, the old gangsters, the people that came before him, the people that were into the industry a long time ago. And he stated this, getting getting into Bitcoin before March would have been visionary and courageous. So when you look around and you think to yourself, am I doing the right thing? And because it just seems like some days, and believe me, uh, even I get like like this some days, I'm like, man, is this the right thing? I always feel like it's, it is the right thing. I know it's going to happen. The real question is, you know, when is it going to happen? When you see articles like this, though, and uh, you've got a CEO of a multi-billion dollar company, and he's going headfirst into Bitcoin, and he's making the right choices, and there's everybody behind him going, you know what? I want to be that guy doing what he's doing, and I want to bring my company back from the brink and make these huge profits. I think it just says something to, you know, where you and I are going where we've seen things and what we could potentially be so that's what i have for that that piece uh, let me know what you think in the, in the comment section let's move on